Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're like me, you got your Steam Deck and you thought, man, this thing is just awesome for emulation. You really want to get into it, but you're a little bit new. I want to share with you a couple things that I found that although there are many, many different videos out there talking about getting emulation set up on your Steam Deck, there's one crucial part that nobody is talking about and it's actually how to get the games to run and I want to share with you just a couple of the things that I have found through trial and error that nobody else is talking about to actually get these games to run through the Steam Deck. So the very first thing that you're going to find and I won't get into detail about this because there there are so many about that is that you want to get MU Deck and you do that just by going to the MU Deck website. Now again I'm not going to go through the whole process here but I just want to show you real quick that you can go to MU Deck, go to that website, and actually if you go to that website, they're going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to get everything set up so that you can start emulation. And you can actually go there, watch this video, it gives you very in-depth step-by-step way to get this all set up. Really it's all just about hitting this download button and walking through the steps. So I'll leave you to do that part, but if you're like me, you've went through all of that and you still can't get these games to run, um, and it really has to do everything to do with the, the BIOS and the ROM. So once you get MU Deck set up and you've got everything installed, what you need to make sure that you get next are your ROMs and your BIOS. Now, just like everybody says, they can't tell you where to get them, but I'm going to give you uh, a way that you can... You can do some research on that. <laughs> get some get some research about ROMs and BIOS, and it's very very simple. Where you can actually find them, but I cannot tell you to download them. You should not download them, but I can tell you where to find them. So, at the end of this video, go ahead and click on the the video I've linked below, where a guy does some great research on ROMs, and I found that you can also do that same kind of research on BIOS as well. Very, very helpful and and perfect for what you're looking for. Okay, so we've got our ROMs and our BIOS. We've got them legally. We're now going to put them into the MUDEC folders where it tells us to, but there's a couple things and if you've done it and it's still not working, this is probably what the problem is. So uh, I, I just wanna share this with you real quick. So I set mine up on my SD card which I do recommend doing. And then inside emulation, now you've got two folders here. One is BIOS and one is ROMs. This is where you're gonna put your BIOS. So it's actually telling the system to run, to boot up and, and to actually start, start the emulation. And then you've got your ROMs, which is actually your game. So inside here, you just pick whichever folder it is so today i'm just going to use ps2 for example but it could be n64 whatever whatever system it is that's where you want to put your games but here's where the tricky part comes in and this is where again i'm, I'm a little new so this may be obvious to some people but i know a lot of us out there are are just now getting into it because we see the steam deck and we're like man we can really start to play these old games but we've been going through this following the steps we still can't get them to run so this is this is probably what the problem is and it's an easy fix so all we need to do is find our ROMs and our BIOS so real quick I've got a game here and I've got a, the BIOS here what I want to do is plug them into those folders but there's one trick about that so let me go over to BIOS first so what we what we actually care about is not the folder BIOS doesn't care about the folder that it's in so we're going to go ahead and we're going to move this into our BIOS, but we're going to extract it. And we see this folder here. Now, we would think that that would be perfect. That's what we need, but it's actually not. You actually need to go into the folder and the actual files are what matter. So we don't care about folders. We care about files. So we're going to take this. We're actually going to go back and just put it in to our BIOS. Now, there could be other ways of doing this, that's fine. So now we've actually got nothing in our folder, we've got 
all the files themselves in our BIOS, and that's actually going to make the system run. And the same thing is actually with the ROM. So if we go back to emulation, we'll go to our ROMs, we'll go to PS2. You can see there's not a folder in here. There's just a file in here, the .iso. That's what it cares about. So if I want to play Barbie Horse Adventures Wild Horse Rescue, I'm actually not going to drop the folder in there. I'm going to extract it, and you can actually extract it here. That's fine, whichever one you want to do. Go into the actual folder once it finishes extracting. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to take the file, the actual game itself, and drop it into the ROM folder. There we go. All right, so we're going to go in here. And look, we don't care about anything else. We just care about the files. Now, if there was one, that's fine. If there's two, that's fine, whatever. So we're just going to take these. We're going to go up. And we're going to drop them into our PS2 ROM folder. Now, that game is going to work. So that was the biggest issue for me, was I was dropping folders in there, especially with BIOS. Some of the games would, would kind of work, but they would still kind of mess up on me. But once I started realizing, well, it really doesn't care about the folders. It cares about the files. You just drop those into your BIOS, drop those into your ROM folders, and then that actually gets the game working. So let me prove it to you. I'm going to drop out of this. We'll go back over into game mode, and let's run one of these games. All right, so here we are in game mode. And if you remember... I did not have PS2 BIOS in the folder before, in the BIOS folder. So what I dropped in there is the actual BIOS that you need to run this, run these games. So I'm just going to go over to Emulation Station, and we're going to hit play. And we're going to see if Barbie... I forgot the name of the game. <laughs> there we go. Barbie Horse Adventures actually plays. So you can see it, it recognized the game because I just dropped the files in there. And if the BIOS work, this game will start up. So it says it's launching. And normally if I had a BIOS error or, or something like that, it would have already told me right here. I would have got a, a little error message right there that said, hey, this needs a BIOS to be able to run. But as you can see, the game that we just added to our emulator is starting up just fine with no issues so if you're a big barbie horse adventure uh game <laughs> lover then then hey there you go this was just uh one of the smallest ps2 games that i had so i just loaded this one to make it easy but guys it's working it, it that's that's all it takes is just making sure that you actually have the files instead of the folders and you can get all of your old favorite games to start running right there on your steam deck on the go man it's it really is just amazing system so all right and that's it thank you all for watching this video and hopefully you found it valuable if you did please subscribe and like the video so that more people can find it and let me know in the comments below what other kind of steam deck content that you would like to see going forward I'm pretty new to this, so uh, I invite you to please join with me on this YouTube journey. I'm really excited about it, and hopefully I can help more people in the future. All right, peace.